Harpa version 7 brings over 10 new features, new steps, calc, weight, group, jump, loop, step silencing, labels and conditions. We will cover all the new capabilities first, and then build a sample automation to repurpose YouTube videos into keyword-enriched blog posts in Notion in one click. To build personalized automations or commands, type slash in chat and click create button. Click plus icon to add a new step to your command. Harper runs steps in a command sequentially. Ask step now supports choice options. Every option has a label and a value and is presented as a button in chat when the command runs. Selected option value is stored in a parameter and can be referenced in subsequent steps, sent to GPT or used to control command flow. Custom option values are also supported. You can now use step conditions to turn steps on or off and control command flow. There are seven operators supported from comparisons to regular expressions. Use new wait step to manage timing, for example, add delays after web page navigations and clicks. The new calc step has 15 functions to set and clone parameters, extract data, code blocks and regular expressions from GPT replies, update, filter and merge lists. Additional features include the ability to copy a step and assign labels or conditions to steps. Labels are crucial for using jumps. Assign a label to a step and use jump step to send command flow to the given step. Group multiple steps together under a group step, useful for building complex automation scenarios and applying conditions to multiple steps. Last but not least, loops can iterate over list parameters and allow building mass automation agents, monitor or extract data from multiple pages, process or enrich contacts. Loops are currently in beta and are limited to OpenAI API key connection to adhere to OpenAI's terms of service. With the update overview complete, let's move on to a practical use case. Combined with GPT, request and extract steps, the new features let you create practical AI automations in your browser. We will build a custom automation that transforms a YouTube video into a blog post, enriches it with keywords, and then saves it to Notion. Open Harpa, type slash, click the create button and specify a name for your new command, for example, YouTube to Notion. Typically, AI commands begin with ask steps to ask user for parameter value. Let's add ask step to ask for a YouTube URL to turn into a blog post. We'll test the choice option. The first choice is the current page, and the second is a URL entered into the dialog box. The navigate step will be initiated if a URL is entered, without a URL, it will be skipped. Next, we can either use a command step with a predefined command called repurpose YouTube video or create our custom group as a series of steps. Let's create a group step that will repurpose YouTube video into a blog post. I will tackle this task with three GPT steps. The first analyzes and summarizes the video transcript chunk by chunk. The second filters out only the essential information from the summary. The third crafts a blog post from this data. Moving on, let's supplement our post with relevant LSI keywords, aligning it with Google's EAT guidelines. Let us pull the H1 heading from the generated post and get a list of relevant keywords. Add a calc step and select a function that takes the first line of the generated blog post. Store it in an H1 parameter. Add a second calc step to encode H1 parameter into a URL. Next, pick a navigate step and use the H1 parameter as a search query. We will ask GPT to extract keywords from the page and store in a keywords parameter. The final GPT step will integrate the discovered keywords into the previously created blog post. Voila, your SEO optimized blog post is ready. Add a calc step to append the blog post to a global list in case we'd like to use it in a different command. Next, we will make our command store the blog post to Notion. Add an ask step with two options, case to Notion and next post. Let's create a step group for the first option. We'll set a condition for this group so that the step runs when the paste to Notion button is clicked. Drill down into the new group and insert a navigate step with the Notion page URL. Finalize this group by adding a paste step to put the generated blog post content into the open Notion page. Drill up from the group. Finally, let's loop the entire command using a jump step when the user has selected next post option. 
the jump step needs a label to jump to, so we will name the first step a start and jump to that step. This will reroute us to the beginning of the entire command sequence. Here, in a few minutes we created a custom automation that can save hours of manual work. We will bring you a cloud command storage and a public command recipes repository in the next releases and cannot wait to see what you build with these capabilities. Experiment with the custom AI commands, find detailed guides on our website, and don't forget to hit the like button.